As many of you know where I stand on tolls, um, we did a poll, our email poll as well, and uh, ours came back at close to 90% against. So uh, we are taking the pulse of the town and uh, the feedback we got was 90% against. So as, as your delegation from Enfield, I, I think I can speak for John and myself, um, we are a big no on tolls. But uh, we appreciate you being here tonight to get the actual information from the people that actually sit on the, uh, the committee that, that uh, talks about tolls all day and all night. So here you go. Thank you. So what would some trip, typical trip costs look like? So we took a couple of different potential routes from here, Hartford, Waterbury, and also to New Haven. We looked at the peak cost and the off-peak cost. And this is calculated using the easy pass rate, not with the extra 20% commuter discount. So Governor, Mal um, Malloy. Uh, Governor Lamont just sent out some potential costs he used the 50% discount, the commuter rate, and the uh, 30% you know, and the 20%, and he only used one way. So these are round trip. You gotta get back home, you think. So if we are traveling from Hartford to Enfield, uh, you know, back and forth during peak hours, it's a little over $2 a day, a little over 11 a week, and $566.50 a year. And that's not bad compared to some of the numbers we've seen. Dollar uh, eighty-one off peak, about nine dollars a week, and four hundred and fifty-three dollars a year. Waterbury's a little more, a little over five fifty a day, almost fourteen hundred dollars a year. But if you're able to do that trip off peak, uh, you know, if you were doing that every day, it's. 445 a day during peak hours and a little over $1,100 a year. If you had to travel to New Haven during peak hours, it's just shy of 650 a day, <coughs> about $1,600 a year, and then off peak you can see the, the numbers here. So we do have a really good alternative, and I would <laughs> love to turn this over to my partner, Senator Henry Martin, and he will walk you through it. Is there an alternative? We believe there is, and it's called prioritizing progress. We, at the, in 2015, the Republican caucus had uh, learned about the, uh, the problems that the Special Transportation Fund was having, and we felt that we needed to be part of the solution. And we came up with a plan with the goal in mind of doing this. And that was, and, and by the way, there were tolls, and th these tolls have been in discussions for uh, at least since Laura and I have been on the Transportation Committee for at least five years now. So we had this in mind, that we needed to uh, find an alternative so that tolls was not an option. We not, kept this in mind, to stabilize the special transportation fund, but also to make sure that we didn't put a burden on the people of the state of Connecticut. <coughs> 